Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. A very good friend of mine sent me a video recently in which there was a brother who was saying that the, the Jum'ah Khutbah Imam, he said that the whole of inti entirety of Islam can be characterized by good character. When I heard that, I was absolutely shocked. Having studied Islam for over 25 years, reading the Quran every day, that is something that not, wasn't that much of a surprise because that is what is preached from Jum'ah Masajid up and down the country, up and down the, all over the planet. That they teach Islam is only about character. And I responded him, to him saying that if you read the entirety of the Qur'an there is no way that you could come to this conclusion. Even, and not denying that character is an important part of Islam. This morning, as I read every day, every morning as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Qur'an ba'da bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa Qur'an al-Fajr Inna Qur'an al-Fajri kana mashhuda. So we should read the Qur'an every day at, sal at Salat al-Fajr. So this is the Qur'an that I love to read every morning. It gives explanations of the words, of the uncommon words in Arabic. And it gives a, a, a hadith or two about the topic. And it gives also asbab nuzul of the ayat, which is a really great way to start the day doing tadabbur of the Quran. And I thought, well, what do, I know this book has a, in the glossary, has abwabs or chapters of, and it has categorized all of the ayat. I don't know if it's all of the ayat, but it has categorized the ayat that is found in the Quran. And I thought, let me just have a look at that in response. To what the brother, very good, uh, very good brother and friend of mine, he wrote. And I thought, let me just go for that and maybe that will help him have an insight into what the Quran is. Because if you read the Quran in its entirety, there is no way you can come to the conclusion, as that brother said, that Islam in its entirety can be summarized into good character. So let's have a look. Bab al Awwal. First chapter, Hawl Arkan al Islam, around the pillars of Islam. And here, if you look into the details, it goes Fasl al Awwal al Deen, first uh, character, uh, category, al Deen. Fasl al Thani al Tawheed. So it's not the typical five pillars of Islam, it adds a few on top of that. So let's look at the, so it goes, as you can see, it puts all of the ayat. Related to that. The next bab. So as you can see, this is you know a large portion. A bab thani al iman, which is around iman in Allah and in Islam. So this is not the typical just iman that we are taught, but around the conviction how Allah subhanahu wa taala points mankind to look to the creation that will lead to the inevitable conclusion that is, it is created and in the Qur'an of its divinity. The next bab, Bab Thalith Al-Qur'an and it goes into Tilawatuhu, its recitation Wasafahu wa wujubu al-Imanu bih It's uh, um, its character and and the belief of the or the the importance of imanu uh, or the necessi necessi necessity of imanu in it. Abab al Rabi' al Ulum wal Funun. Really interesting bab. The bab of knowledge or the knowledge knowledges of the creation. Wal Funun and the arts very overlooked important aspect of Islam. As you can see here it goes into the 
الفصل العلم والعلماء the uh, categorization of knowledge and the knowledgeable people باب الخامس العمل action the importance of action we live in a world where the preachers from the members teach us the importance of inaction and simply giving dua but we read in the Quran of the Anbiya of the Salihun the importance of action then dua Al-Bab al-Sadis Al-Da'watu ila Allah the calling to Allah importance of da'wa another extremely overlooked aspect in our day Al-Bab al-Sabi' Al-Jihad I know this is a hot word an unspoken word but of so many ayat in the Quran about jihad and jihad is not terrorism is not the bastardization of of jihad that that some groups and fanatics have have stolen this word jihad is a noble action as we can see in the history of Islam is spreading Islam to the people not by force by spreading the system of Islam to the people so they can see the truth of Islam Al-Bab Al-Thamin Al-Insan Wal-Alaqat Al-Ijtima'iyya People and the social interactions fundamental part of Islam of establishing a society and how that society should function and this is exactly what the Prophet ﷺ did when he entered Medina. He established the societal relations, fundamental part of, part of Islam which is completely lost today because we do not have the civilization of Islam. Al-Bab al-Tasi' al-Alaqat al-Akhlaqiyya The relationships of akhlaq, of good character. Here, subhanAllah, as we, as we mentioned, this is obviously an important and fundamental aspect of the Quran and of Islam the akhlaq the, the good character but it's not the only cha- aspect or pillar or, or chapter of the Quran or of Islam Al-Bab Al-Ashir Tanzeem Al-Alaqat Al-Maliyya this is around the organization of so of economic transactions, economic system. Here we, the Quran talks about economic system. And what does it talk about? Al-amwal, funds, tamallukuha, uh, uh, or the ownerships, iktisabiha, the uh, earning of it, infaqiha, the spending of it. All of these, subhanAllah, if you pick up a, a normal textbook of economic system, a is not non-Islamic or a secular book on economics. They will go through these same topics. The Quran goes through these topics. Al Bab al Hadil al Hadil Ashar Hadi Ashar al Alaqat al Qadaiya to do with judgments. And in Islam, we have a ruling system. We have a judicial system. So here it talks about the issue of the judgments, giving judgments. Al Bab al Thani Ashar العلاقات السياسية والعامة Very insightful باب The باب الثاني عشر العلاقات السياسية والعامة Of politics and the general public Subhanallah, when I saw this, I thought this is, well, quite a small باب And what is the aspects he talks about in here? الحكم The rule السلطة لله that Allah gives the Sulta the authority to whoever He wills. Wali al Amr, the Wali, the the person that Allah has entrusted with authority. And there's many ayat. When I look at this Baba, there's many ayat that I would put in this character that are just not here. And this brings to a really important point. This book was published.
in by Darul Rashid Dimashq in Syria. This is why I bought this book before uh, the war. Darul Rashid in Dimashq, Syria. So obviously being published in Syria, the authors of them, may Allah protect them and bless them, have to be very careful about what they put in this bab. Bab of Siyasa. Because the rulers who are still the tyrants there today, the Assad family, would be inspecting what have you put in this bab. And so his bab is all about obeying the rulers. What he's sort of putting here, uh, you know, generally speaking. Because, and this is a really insightful into the Islam we have today. The Islam we have today that is propagated from our lands is heavily influenced and controlled by the regimes in those lands. They only allow you to speak about Islam that is acceptable to them. And that's why we have the notion that Islam is only about character. Islam is only about rituals because this is the only Islam that they are allowed to speak about. And this is a continuation of the colonization of Islam. Not the true story of Islam as we can see from the Quran. I go on. Al-Bab al-Thalith Ashar Al-Tijara wa Zira'a You could call it uh, trading and farming. Al-Bab al-Rabi' Ashar Al-Qasas wa Tariq Al-Qasas wa Tariq The stories and of history because much of the Quran talks about the people before us. Al-Bab al-Khamis Ashar Ad-Diyanat, the religions, and here he talks about Ahlul Kitab and the people from that followed deens other than Islam. And there you can see, subhanAllah, just a short explanation or a short insight from this Qur'an that Islam is not only about character, it's not only about rituals, it's about life in general. And when you read the Qur'an in its entirety, it will open your eyes into the truth of Islam that is hidden from us in today's world. وَقُولِ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ وَصَلَوَاتُ اللَّهِ عَلَىٰ رَسُولِنَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَىٰ آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ أَمَّا بَعْدَ